is 7 News at 10. So much has happened here in Littleton in the past year, you know? People dying all over the place. It's, it's not supposed to happen here. Another blow to the Columbine community. Tonight, another makeshift memorial for two students killed at a Subway sandwich shop. Good evening, I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Bertha Lynn, and Mitch joins us on assignment. Good evening, I'm Mitch Jelnicker, reporting live from Las Vegas, where a Columbine hero received a special honor tonight for his courage. I'll have a live report in just a minute. Thanks, Mitch. Tonight, Littleton residents are coping with yet another shooting tragedy. The bodies of Columbine students, 16-year-old Nicholas Kunzelman and 15-year-old Stephanie Hart were found early this morning in a Subway restaurant within sight of the high school. We have team coverage tonight with 7 News reporters Hendrick Sabrandi and Sean McLaughlin. And Hendrick, let's start with you. Well, Ann and Bertha, a couple of new items to report tonight. First of all, it is not clear how much help the subway store surveillance camera will be in this investigation. There's a question tonight as to whether there was actually a tape working properly inside that camera. Secondly, investigators are waiting on store officials to do an audit of the cash drawer in the shop. That will help determine whether, in fact, this was a robbery that went horribly wrong. Investigators are done for the evening, but they're expected back Tuesday to finish processing a crime scene that was first discovered by an off-duty store employee. At 12.45 a.m. Monday, she dialed 911. She just happened to be driving by and saw the lights on very late and, and decided to stop and check on the employees inside there. She found two bodies behind the store counter. Both victims had been shot. Authorities won't say if they found a weapon. The female party called us on 911 and at the same time saw a young male leaving the area that we would like to talk to. 15-year-old Nicholas Kunselman was supposed to close the store. 16-year-old Stephanie Hart was there visiting him. He'd always come in and he'd say hi and stuff. He was really nice and friendly. I, mean, I just don't understand how this could happen. Laid back. Nice, just doing his job. I was hanging out with him last night. So like I said, and now he's dead. This is crazy. Crazy and incomprehensible to the mother of a Columbine student who died a mile away nearly a year ago. I mean, it's just something you can't even imagine of what it's like to actually lose your child. And I, and I know right where they're at. And these students, I mean, it's, it's just one thing after another. Investigators are playing down any connection to Columbine and are just beginning to sort out how and why this happened. It's a completely separate incident that occurred. Now, witnesses could be very critical in this case. As you heard, there was reference made to a young man who was seen leaving this parking lot area. We have a description of that person. He is described as a young white male in his late teens or early 20s. He was seen wearing a red jacket with flared pants. If you have any information uh, or think you may have seen this person, call the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department tip line. That number, you see it on the screen, 303-271. 5605. It'll be interesting to see whether there are any uh, reports of sightings of this young man uh, or if any other witnesses step forward to help investigators with this very mysterious case. Anna Bertha. All right. Thank you, Hendrick. Let's go now to 7 News anchor Sean McLaughlin with more reaction from the community tonight. Sean? Bertha, there is a tragic sense of deja vu here in Littleton tonight. I'm standing next to yet another crime scene memorial, and I've just returned from a memorial service for some slain Columbine High School students. With tear-filled eyes and weary hearts, they gathered in disbelief. With Columbine fresh in all of our hearts and in all of our minds, we sometimes suspect do we have one more tear that we can cry. This service at the Calvary Church wasn't intended as a memorial for slain Columbine High School students Nick Kunselman and Stephanie Hart, but it became one. It was also an emotional outlet for the many friends they left behind. And these kids have suffered so much. So Lord, again, I pray that you would strengthen them. Lord, give them the courage and the love that they're going to need in order to face the next few days. At the crime scene, more signs of compassion and heartache. Friends and fellow students have created a sidewalk memorial near the business where the bodies were found. The location is only several blocks from Columbine High School and just a memory away from April 19th of last year. 
It's just I've lost two more of my friends, and that just adds to everybody else that we lost during April, and it's, it's hard. It's hard for anyone here to believe they are going through this again, but if they have learned anything this past year, it is to hold on to one another. There's been a steady stream of Columbine High School students coming by here tonight, leaving notes and leaving flowers just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, a young lady showed up and she was very tearful. They all seem to have the same reaction. Number one, they can't believe this has happened. And number two, it all seems to take them back to April 19th, 1999, April 20th. Very sad. Certainly mm -hmm. unbelievable. Thank, Thank you, Sean. And despite the tragic news of the shooting, school events carried on. Thank you. A moment of silence tonight at DU as the boys and girls teams both played, Columbine taking on their rivals, Chatfield High School. Recapping now, two Columbine students were found shot to death in a subway restaurant this morning. Police are investigating tonight, but they have no suspects, no motive at this time. And grief counselors are helping students cope with yet another tragedy.